to begin with that I come at this from a very different perspective. So, for example, you talk about these other guys. Uh, I'm, I'm not deeply into this literature, but you say there are these other guys who have theories which doesn't give any privileged role, which don't give any privileged role to the state. And so I confess I, I'm probably within that camp that I don't feel like criminal law needs to give any privileged role to the state. So I don't have any intuition that I need to justify there. Um, then, to the extent you're making this if-then statement, which I take it as a being essentially about fit, um, like how do how do we make our practice fit with the theory. Um, uh, I guess I've got to confess I don't find it terribly compelling to say, uh, uh, to the extent that the government make, that the state makes such a claim, what stems from it? Um, because maybe the reason that the government makes a claim of having an exclusive right to rule is pure ideology and propaganda. And maybe the government is just a mafia that makes, makes more more ambitious propagandistic statements. And so I have no, I, I don't feel any need to work out what logically stems from that statement because if it turns out it's more legitimate to ignore what they're saying and say there's got to be something else and the cost is that they're making logically incoherent statements, fine, they're making logically incoherent statements. So, uh, so, I'm, so I, don't, um, I don't really feel the need to justify to the extent you have an exclusive right to rule what stems logically from that. Um, so, but that said, I'm going to try and put myself into your framework. Uh, and what I'm primarily interested in is the privatization angle. And now, since, as you've said, it's only a sketch. So I'm, I'm trying to read what I can into it. And so maybe it turns out that as you flesh it out, that answers my questions. So at first, I thought, like John, that what you were saying had something to do with policing. And then I was going to ask, oh, what about delegations to the individual? What about vigilantes? What about RoboCop style contracting out to a corporation to run the police department? But now that I find out that it's not about policing, but about adjudication, essentially, I'm going to try and translate that into adjudication mode. So um, I, I sort of imagine what you're talking about ruling out is something like a wholesale delegation of adjudication to like the American Arbitration Association or something like that, or maybe to the for-profit firm Judge Co. Or um, I, I, I'm thinking maybe that's what you're trying to rule out. Um, so with that in mind, when I, when I see that you're saying that um, the criminal punishment can only be administered by the state that has been wronged. So immediately I say, well, how is it now in public systems? So we have criminal punishments that are administered by judges, publicly appointed judges or whatever. Um, I'm not sure in what sense the judges are the state that has been wronged. So since the state that has been wronged is an abstract entity and it can only act through agents, so I interpret what you're saying as not that the state has to admin the state that has been wronged has to administer the criminal punishment, but the state that has been wronged has the right to have criminal punishment administered only by agents that it has chosen. Um, that's the only way that I can make sense of that statement because states can't actually administer criminal punishment, but their agents can. Um, so. That's kind of the theme of a lot of my writing, and so I, I'm going to sound like a broken record on this one point <laughs> by the end of this conference, uh, because that's essentially also my critique of a previous paper by uh, Alona Navajai. But um, so if that's the case, if the reason that a public judge can administer criminal punishment is because he's an authorized agent of the state, why can't the American Arbitration Association be an authorized agent of the state? Um, and maybe what would a vigilante judge be like? I suppose if much like in the same way that in a policing perspective we delegate to an individual to have self-defense or we delegate to a third party to do a citizen's arrest or something like that, maybe you might say that what if a system allowed for, um, you know, on the site, like the Old West cattle rustling courts where they actually judge somebody and then string him up at the end. What if a, what if a system actually allowed for that? Um, then I suppose you could say, much in the same way that we can delegate the power to someone to do a citizen's arrest or to protect a third party or something like that, maybe we could even consider that that person is an authorized agent of the state. I like that you have said that self-defense is an, is 
a, uh, is a delegation to the individual because once you've said that, I say, why can't you have a delegation to individual private adjudicators around? Why can't they be agents of the state? So bottom line is, if you're saying that adjudication can only be done by the state, I reinterpret that to mean adjudication can only be done by authorized state agents, and that makes me ask, why can't anybody be an authorized state agent? And that makes me ask, what exactly are you purporting to rule out by your theory? So that's kind of, I think, my most fundamental thing that I would want to see as you flesh out that section. Now, finally, circling back to the John issue of what about policing, if you're going to say that about adjudication, I would actually be interested to, to see whether this theory applies with equal force to policing. Because maybe you have some philosophical way to say that right to rule implies adjudication but doesn't necessarily imply policing. But I don't know, because being subject to policing also means that for a temporary period of time until the adjudication happens, you are subject to the coercive authority of the person who has grabbed you and who has temporarily imprisoned you or who has temporarily or who has shot you to prevent you from doing whatever. So if your right to rule implies adjudication, then I would, I would like to think that maybe it implies policing, and in that case, I also have exactly the same question about why can't any person be an authorized agent of the state for purposes of policing. Great. Uh, 